everybody, I love when we get to make friends here at this outlet and mm -hmm. people we get to check in with at various stages in, in their careers. And Caroline Jones is one of those friends that we just love getting to say hi to whenever we get a chance to. Oh, yeah. I have I first heard her song, um, one of her songs on Sirius XM, and I instantly thought, oh, Shania Twain. She sounds a lot like Shania Twain. I could hear the influence. And I spoke to her uh, a couple of times uh, after that single, and uh, I just absolutely love her music. And uh, I, I love that she's got a new EP coming out and it's got a little mix of uh, country pop and bluegrass and it's got some special guests on it and uh, I'm thankful that she was able to chat with us to uh, promote the new EP called Superpower with um, Normal Person being the focus track and uh, Keep It Safe featuring Alyssa Bonagura was already uh, released as well as Lawless and uh, a Vince Gill um, collaboration on there as well as part of uh, an upcoming full-length album scheduled for later this year. I cannot wait. Uh, more music from Caroline Jones is just more great music. And we also talk about her time with the Zach Brown Band. I spoke to her at CMA Fest last year. And since that time, she became a full vested member. She'd been a backup singer, but now she is a full vested member of the band and that's really incredible the first female member and uh the first member to kind of i think come out of the core group outside of the group that that kind of started with and there were some lineup changes and and uh, first member since the, he started touring at this grand scale so uh, i think that's just a testament to what an incredible artist caroline jones is and you're about to hear how humble and down to earth and thought-provoking she is. Caroline Jones, welcome back to the Music Universe podcast. You've been busy since last time we spoke at uh, CMT Awards and CMT Fest last, or CMA Fest last year. Congrats on all, all the success. You've got a new EP, Superpower, coming out May 19th. Tell us about uh, that. Well, this EP is the first five songs off what will be my third album, which will be coming later this fall. And a couple of the songs have already been released, Keep It Safe, which is my duet with my friend Alyssa Bonagura, and Lawless, uh, which came out in March. Superpower and Normal Person and By Way of Sorrow are the three other songs on the EP. And... It's really sonically diverse. There's kind of a Nora Jonesy song on there, which is the title track. There's a bluegrass song. There's a super fun 80s country song, real traditional. And then there's some more country pop on there. And uh, I co-produced this as I have all my previous work with Rick Wake and also a new co-producer, Brandon Hood, who's fantastic. And I've loved working with him. And I'm really proud of this music and I think people will be able to hear the the evolution the, the maturity and yeah, actually one of the songs you mentioned by way of sorrow is a uh, duet with Vince Gill it is yeah Vince Gill sings harmonies on by way of sorrow by way of sorrow is the one song on the EP that I did not write it's a Julie Miller song and Alyssa actually showed it to me and I couldn't believe that it wasn't a bluegrass standard. It just sounds like a classic to me. It's such a moving, powerful song. And I fell in love with it. And Brandon Hood, my co-producer, actually thought of the idea of getting Vince Gill to sing harmonies on it. And I said, Brandon, shoot for the stars. You go for it, you know, but I wasn't really thinking that it would happen. And I, I can't describe how honored I am in how giddy it makes me feel to think that Ben Skill featured on one of my songs and is singing harmonies with me because um, he's on my short list of all-time heroes. Fantastic. Well, big things have been happening for you all around. Since last we spoke, you became a full member of the Zach Brown Band. Yeah. Uh, how did that come about and how did you get that invitation to become a full member? Well, very organically, I started out opening for Zach Brown Band in 2017. I opened for them on and off for three years. And then I got a call from Zach after the pandemic asking if I'd come out and play utilities 
just cover some parts that they didn't have enough people to cover in the band. And they just kept inviting me back and they started inviting me to things that had nothing to do with tour, like the CMA awards. And, and I just kept coming because I absolutely love playing in the band and being in service to that music and contributing to um, their collective, which is of such a high musical caliber. And, uh, and I became an official member of the Zach Brown band last year, the first female member um, it's an amazing honor and, and I'm just so blessed that I, I have the ability to balance, uh, being in the Zach Brown band and, and having an independent solo career. Um, and I'm so grateful that Zach supports that in me. It's fantastic. Yeah. I was going to ask about that because I saw you, um, your Hollywood bowl show mm -hmm. and, um, I, I loved how he, gives everybody a chance to shine. I know you yeah. performed uh one a portion of one of your songs uh, come in but but don't get yourself comfortable. And it was really neat the dynamic that it was my first time seeing the band and it was a really unique dynamic to see yeah. that this such a powerful person like uh, Zach Brown and he gave everybody their own chance to shine and really it seems like it's very um very family oriented because I know he also tends to cook for people or he did before the pandemic. Yeah. I mean, that's just a reflection and a testament to who he is. That's the kind of person he is. He's also just a legit, very pure musician at heart. You know, he mm -hmm. doesn't always need to be in the spotlight. He loves music. He loves talent. He loves giving talent and um, new artists a chance to shine. And I'm an example of that, the way he's taken me under his wing and helped me along in my career in numerous ways, um, including inviting me to be part of his band. But, you know, he loves collaborating. He's He has a band that has 10 people in it. Like there's a reason, you know, he's just, mm -hmm. that's what he loves. And he's creatively fearless and he wants to, bring in people who push him and challenge him and add to his music. And he's really damn good at that. Well, you're damn, you're damn good too. I think it's <laughs> Thank pairing. You. and, and uh, so talk about the decision to release some of the songs that you know are coming on a full album as an EP standalone themselves. What led to saying we're going to carve out this piece of this album and how did you choose the tracks? for the EP? It's just the pace of the world that we're in now. You know, I'd much rather release music in bite-sized chunks. That's how I prefer to consume music. And I'm just glad that the industry's caught up with how I think most of my generation and definitely the generations after me prefer to um, consume music, you know? Um, I'd much rather listen to a song or two at a time. Um, and I think country music is just now catching up to that uh, consumer model. And I'm really grateful. Um, but, you know, asking someone to sit down and listen to a 60 minute album now is a big investment. Um, and it's not not doable, but I just don't think it reflects the pace of our current world. And so um, part of being a smart business person is figuring out how best to get your music in the ears of of new fans. And um, so to me, releasing a song a month or releasing an EP and then a full album, it just makes sense. Um, and it's how, like I said, how I'd prefer to consume music. But this whole record thematically uh, speaks to grit and perseverance. And you'll definitely hear those themes in this initial EP, the songs, especially like Superpower, By Way of Sorrow, Moral person, lawless, they all speak to that theme in one way or another. Um, and that's just reflective of the place in my life and in my writing now that I am. Mm -hmm. And do you anticipate that? Um, I, I know some artists have been doing multiple EPs and then the full album. Do you anticipate that this will be that type of project? No, I think this will be one EP and then I'll release um, a few more individual songs throughout the summer and then the full album in the fall. Awesome. And, and uh, uh, speaking, go ahead, buddy. Well, I, I was just going to ask, um, are you performing um, most of these songs on the the new tour? 
hundred percent. Yeah. And some unreleased songs as well. Um, but yeah, that's also one of the main reasons I want to keep putting music out is I want to play these songs live and I'm touring a ton this year. So, um, my album release show is in Nashville on May 18th at the exit Inn, and it's actually the first headline show that I've done in Nashville, which is surprising to people, mm. but I've never actually done a headline show in Nashville. So I'm bringing out some friends and special guests. That'll be really fun and to play these new songs live. I mean, that's the whole point. That's the whole purpose. Really cool. yeah. yeah. And really cool. You get to do it at the exit in. Thank heavens that I venue know. was saved and, I and know. reopened. It's really cool. Yes, sir. You're absolutely right. Yeah. So I'm Big seeing things. I'm seeing dates through uh, November fourth. Obviously, yeah. summer solo, summer with Zach Brown. How you kind of mentioned this earlier? How I guess difficult is it to balance the two? Because I would think being kind of pulled two different ways at times and trying to you know with scheduling and all that 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 could be overwhelming for an artist. I do get overwhelmed once in a while, um, but I would say. For the most part, I have an amazing team um, who helps me manage my schedule and helps make um, my travel easy and helps me take care of myself. And I think if you can get those few things down, it really helps because um, you're not constantly playing catch up. And, you know, I've built up my stamina and conditioned myself over the past few years of touring quite extensively. So, um Really, the only challenge of it is just making sure that the schedules don't overlap. And sometimes there are challenges there, but we try to minimize them. Um, making sure that, um, you know, I can give my full time and attention and heart to the Zach Brown band when I'm with them and my full time and attention and heart to my own music um, and the energy and time and sweat equity that that deserves when it's time for that. and. Um, it's just part of maturing and, um, being able to compartmentalize, but I love doing both so much that I, it's really a priority for me to, um, give my all to both of them. Yeah. And I've been able to do it so far. So I hope to continue. And then you give yeah. your all in the studio, which is incredible. And I can't wait to hear it. And, and thank uh, you. Can't, can't wait to hear the whole project too. This is fantastic. I'll try to come see you on the road on your yeah. solo date. Saw you last year with uh, at Jiffy Lou. Um, yes. With the band. And so we'll try to come see you by yourself. But congrats on all the success on the new music. This was fantastic. I know you got a ton of interviews today. So thank you for spending some time with us. And uh, we will see you definitely down the road. Are you going to be at CMA Fest again this year? I will. Yep. I'm playing two shows. I'm playing a writer's Great. round. I'm playing a show on the Friday night, the night. So I'll see you guys there. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. But anything Thanks else before that. we say? Um, um, no, just, no, all just, good. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank and you. Uh, Thank you, buddy. best of luck. And we'll see you out there. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank take you. care. Yeah. So like she said, there's five tracks on Superpower and uh, the album will be out uh, full length album that is will be out later this year and uh, you know touring with Zach Brown for actually the fifth consecutive mem uh, summer and um, kicks off June 30th and runs through November and of course she's playing 25 plus solo headlining dates herself so very uh, very cool to be that busy and uh, recording and uh, performing and you know when you when you get to do that for a living, I mean, it's just, it's just wonderful. Really it is. So I will see Caroline at CMA Fest and we'll see how the summer's going then. But for now, for the Music Universe podcast, I'm Matt. And I'm Buddy. Thanks for listening and watching. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe and share button. Check us out at socials at the Music Uni and online at themusicuniverse.com and tmupod.com. Take care. <laughs>